What's up, y'all? I'm making this video right now to really um, kind of answer a couple questions that you might have about driving Lyft Lux. The last video I made was, you know, kind of just an overview of how I drive and, um, you know, just kind of my, my day, my routine when it comes to Lyft. But now let's get into the nitty gritty of it. All right, when you're driving Lyft or even Lyft Lux, you have to realize what type of vehicle you're taking out there. Um, you know, if it's Lyft Lux, you know, it's going to be a $60,000 vehicle plus. Um, you're going to have all sorts of people getting in. Just because somebody pays for a luxury ride does not necessarily mean that they might be in the best um, condition. You know, because they might stink, which has happened. I've had luxury rides where people have been stinking. Uh, you get drunk people. Um, as I said before, I am not a fan and I really don't unless unless I have like three passengers I do not let drunk people sit up front with me if they come and stand by the front door The door is locked and I open up my rear passenger door and that's that's the only way they get in um, I've had people um, Picked up people from the casino passed out drunk in the backseat of my car And they wanted lift Lux. Well, these people are drunk and whenever you're drunk, you're turning, you know, drunk people are moving. I don't want nobody in the front seat with me um, <clears throat> when that's happening. You know, I have to make sure that I get home safe. And for the most part, I haven't had nobody really try me or kind of irritate me, anything like that. But let's think about it. I mean, I'm putting miles on my vehicle. Um, right Today is February the 6th, and I've actually uh, switched from my... 20 inch wheels back to my 18 inch uh, inky racing wheels um, these wheels are lightweight um, they help with the gas because when I was riding my 20s uh, it was killing me on the gas because they was just they was a lot heavier to move so um, with these wheels I definitely feel um, my car not as heavy and the ride is actually a lot softer let me go ahead and put this thing up so the ride is softer because it's thicker tires and gas mileage is increased but let's talk about it is it really worth it um, here in Oklahoma, I might get a, or Tulsa, I might get a Lyft Lux ride maybe, maybe every other weekend. When I went to Texas, I got Lux rides uh, almost all the time, just depending on what part of Dallas that I was in. So really, I just got luxury rides in Dallas. I went down there to go visit some family and end up having some rides in North Texas. Those were actually okay. I can't, can't be mad at that. Um, I'm putting a lot of miles on my vehicle and um, of course this is all by choice I'm not blaming anybody you know if I choose to you know take a 400 mile trip just to you know go drive lift and you know that's my prerogative and it gets me out of um, the state that I'm in because I don't know about you but when you're in a certain state um, it gets pretty boring after a while and you want to kind of get out uh, Oklahoma is one of those states very boring state especially Tulsa Oklahoma City is okay, but Tulsa, not so much. And so, <clears throat> when I go down there, uh, not only am I putting miles in my car, um, you know, you never know who you're going to pick up and at what time. Um, I normally, I can drive Lyft all day. Um, good thing about Texas is it has a couple of uh, airports to choose from that you can actually go sit and wait, but I, I, I don't do that. But I take people to uh, Loveland and, and the DFW a lot so but what I really wanted to talk about was the cost the uh, the cost of profit okay if my car takes premium as in most luxury cars do um, there are some luxury cars that can ride regular gas this car can go all the way up to E15 but I choose to put premium in my car for a specific reason because I want the power there I don't want sluggishness in my car because it can you know, kind of clog up the spark plugs and just cause unnecessary issues. I don't want no knock, which is basically where my fuel is not firing. So, let's keep that clean. Anybody else, like, kind of anal about keeping their car clean? I mean, it's a cloudy day outside. A, a very, let me get it better. It's a very cloudy day outside, but I don't care. I still have to have a clean car. Especially if it's white. Can't, can't stand dirty. So, anyways. Um, all the wear and tear that it's putting on my car. The last oil change I got was in November, um, as compared to a couple days ago. So literally, 
I've taken my car 5,000 miles within a matter of a couple months. That's way too much. I don't drive Lyft all the time. I just drive on the weekends. But then again, I have my normal job that I work at. And, you know, I still have kids and I still travel back and forth. So my, my car and my work car are the same vehicle. So you have to really weigh the options when you want to decide if Lyft is something for you. Or if it's you no, know, if, if it's pastime, yeah. But if you're a luxury car owner, do you really want to risk picking up random people in your car? Because most of the time you're picking up people at nighttime, right? So if you're picking them up at night, more than likely they're going to be drunk or you can't see in the back seat. I don't know how many times I've gotten um, or I've looked in my car in the morning after driving Lyft and I've seen nothing but mud all up in here like all up in my car let me change this sorry i've gotten mud all the way up in my car before and you would think people would be courteous enough to uh wash their hands they're not or wash their feet or at least stomp them off before they get in the car they don't care so you know not only do you have to deal with the uptick of maintenance for your vehicle but you also have to deal with the um the consistent cleaning you know, are you picking up somebody who has bed bugs? You know, <laughs> I have this I have this rule where if I pick up anybody from Lyft before I go home, uh, I have a vacuum cleaner at my apartments. So before I go home, I vacuum out my car just to make sure they didn't leave no uh, unwanted guests. And I check my clothes. And as soon as I do, I throw my clothes in the washer. There's just a lot of things you don't think about when it comes to driving Lyft and uh, the people that you'll pick up. Sometimes you pick up people who are kind of sketchy. Um, do not go for like a hundred percent acceptance rate listen to your intuition if you have that feeling that something's kind of off about a person like i picked up this one guy and not only did he smell like cat piss i mean i don't know how many times i picked up stinky people and that can jack up a whole night if i pick up somebody who stinks that i'll be like man i'm done with lift and it'll be my first ride of the night <laughs> so let's say um you pick up somebody and you already feel they're kind of sketchy well um, if they have like a back and forth ride to where they need to come to a gas station or not, you can take them to their first destination and end their ride. Um, you're not taking no extra money because Lyft goes based off of the mileage. So it's not like you're stealing from them whatsoever. But if you feel sketchy about people, you don't have to let them in your car. You, you can deny the ride and you can, you'll take a little ding, but who cares? What's more important, your safety or, or trying to get some couple extra bucks? That's one thing I do not like about Lyft is you don't know where you're taking somebody. You could be taking them a mile or you can be taking them, you know, 30 or 40 miles. It's pretty far. So I would say that um, Lyft for me is not a full-time gig with the luxury vehicle. Uh, my spark plugs are due. My spark plugs in this car <laughs> from Lexus of Tulsa quoted me $1,200. $1,200 for my spark plugs. And guess who's putting all those miles in my car? I am. Is is the amount of money that I'm making from Lyft between my gas, my tires, my wear and tear on the inside, my wear and tear on the motor, is that really worth it? You have to really factor a lot of that stuff in. And what I'm getting really, I mean, what I'm realizing is it's really not worth it sometimes. If this was my old, well not old, but if this was the Camry that I had and I was driving Lyft, I'd be fine. I mean, I still have a warranty on the vehicle, but just because I have a warranty on it doesn't mean I want to rush to get you know, to the miles where my warranty expires, you know, I still got to put gas in this vehicle. I still got to make sure that I'm doing everything what I can to maintenance my car. So I would just say that if you do have a luxury vehicle, um, think twice about driving lift and about how you feel about certain strangers getting in your car. I'm telling you, you meet really cool people. You might learn some stuff from people around town. Uh, places you didn't know about you might make even some good connections but you can also pick up people who might have drugs on them somebody who might have malicious intent and i'm not trying to scare anybody but i'm a big black dude with a gun in the car i'm not worried but for anybody else who's like well i can just go drive lift uh be weary of what you're doing and where you're placing yourself and what type of positions you are so that's my little mm, 10 minutes on it so uh, I'm going to call that a video. Any questions, put them in the comments below, and I usually always answer them. All right, y'all. Peace.